keeping an eye out, Steph. Thank you. It is 637 time for another news. Here's some good news out of the Harvard School of Public Health. Researchers there think cervical cancer may be rare or eliminated altogether in the next 20 years. They credit early health screenings. Between 1975 and 2015, the number of cases dropped 50%. Ever think you'd still be worried about grades when you're thinking about retiring? I hope not, but a study from TD Ameritrade says about 31% of Americans would barely pass themselves when it comes to long-term saving. They give themselves a C. Only 12% feel they earned an A. Could be because about 60% don't have a clue how much they'll need in their golden years. And so they say everyone's entitled to a cheat day. You know, those days when you can eat what you want. But even in a relationship? Well, yeah, a survey from Saber Foods shows 55% of us hide cheat days from our significant other. Nearly 70% of couples blame their partner for their bad eating habits. So how many cheat days do you have? And what's your most guilty pleasure? You can hit us up online with the hashtag HTownRush. Every day is a cheat day. Oh. Oh well, it's God. hard to hide it because I'm usually crying as I'm eating the ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Literally just yesterday, I yell at my husband, we need to stop having ice cream at the house. We can't have wine at the house. Who bought all of it? Me. <laughs> I, can't, I can't. No cheat days. All right. Time now is 6.30.